welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica. On today's video, I'm going to go through my June 2018 foundation wrap up. So I'm going to talk about the five foundations that I did try out this month. Just as a recap, I tried three foundations that were drugstore priced. Uh, this is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Tried this out. And then I also tried out two from the Ordinary Colors line. I tried out the Serum Foundation and the Coverage Foundation. So those were the three that I tried that were drugstore priced. And then I did try two higher end foundations this month as well. They were Cover FX Power Play and the Sunday Riley, the Influencer Clean Longwear Foundation. So these are the two higher end ones I tried this month. And let me tell you, I have a lot of thoughts about these foundations. I think this will be a quick video. Uh, so you'll already know how long it is once you check, click on it. But as I'm filming it right now, I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to take me to film, but um, I don't think it's going to be a very long one. So let's go ahead and dig in. So <clears throat> I will tell you that this month was a struggle. Now I am filming this a week ahead of time uh, because we are getting ready to go on vacation. And when you're watching this, I will already be on vacation. So uh, I didn't have the entire month to try this out. I only had like two and a half weeks. Um, and I tried them out some in May as well. So, I mean, I, my first impressions were filmed in May and then I tried them out in May as well. So it's not entirely too short, but uh, definitely, um, did not get to try them out as much as I probably would have liked to. However, I do have some very strong feelings about these foundations so far. And that's what I'm here to tell you about. So let's go ahead and start at the bottom. Actually, no, this month I'm going to start with the, my favorite foundation. And I'll tell you why in a couple of minutes, but my favorite foundation, even though this foundation, I did struggle with a little bit in my first found first impression video. Uh, I had some problems um, with the shade actually of this one. Uh, it did oxidize significantly on my skin. I found that if I do mix it with other foundations, it doesn't oxidize nearly as much. So I do like the finish of this. I think it looks nice on my skin. I think it sits well on my skin. I think I can wear it for a very long time and not have as many problems. Um, it's not a perfect foundation by any means, uh, but it definitely did oxidize on my skin. And my number one foundation for this month was the Physician, Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. This would never be called a holy grail for me. Um, it doesn't look bad on my skin uh, or doesn't look as bad as the other four do on my skin. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, but it does oxidize. I really wish it didn't because when I first put this on, initially put it on, uh, it does look nice and then it just darkens a little bit too much for me. So, uh, but I do like it. I like how it wears. I like um, how it sits on my skin. So it's not my favorite formula of all time, but it's definitely not my least favorite formula of all time. So yeah, not my holy grail, but not horrendous. And I actually have this on my skin right now mixed with one of my other foundations. And uh, I'm not going to zoom you in because I was just looking in the mirror. I put it on about an hour ago and I was just looking in the mirror and I realized that the other, I must've put more of the other foundation on than this foundation because it's doing some weird things that the other foundation did that I don't like. So I'll talk about that in just a minute. So my top foundation this month is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. All right, moving on. My second foundation is the Sunday Riley, uh, the Influencer Clean Longwear Foundation. Um, I found that if I don't powder this as much, it it doesn't look as powdery. Like I, I my initial first impression of this was that it looked really powdery initially, um, and as the day went on, it looked better. And I do like this shade on me better than the Physicians Formula shade because this one did not oxidize or didn't oxidize as much. And I've worn this since then uh, two more times and I've liked it since then, since my first initial impression. Um, it, it, I think in my first impression, I just powdered it a little bit too much. But on the flip side, this transfers a lot. So like I wore it in one of my uh, unboxing videos this month. I can't remember which one, but I did wear it in one of my unboxing videos this month and um, I did not put powder on it and it looked actually really nice, but it transfers. Yeah, I wish it didn't. Um, I think what I might do, and I didn't try this yet, but I think what I might do is mix this in with my Peach Perfect which is the one foundation that I would tell you that I have that transfers the least. 
of all of the foundations I've tried over the last six months. Um, so I might actually try this mixed in with the Peach Perfect because the Peach Perfect is a little bit too dark for me uh, and see if that helps this not transfer. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But that's my number two. All right. And next, I'm going to have to tell you that... Probably three and four are tied, and I'll tell you why. So I'm gonna say the Ordinary products are my number three and four. So that means my worst product is the uh, Cover FX one. Three and four are tied. Um, I did not like how the serum foundation looked on my skin. The coverage foundation looked better, and what I have found is I've actually mixed these two together and put both of them on my skin at the same time. I'm, I'll do like one to one. Um, so like two pumps of this and two pumps of this. And I found that that makes the best combination for me. Um, I really didn't like the serum foundation when I first tried it. Not at all. It's very, very liquidy, but it definitely gives you coverage. I, I don't know. I, my best way to wear these were mixed together. Will I wear them again? Probably not. I struggled this month. I really, really struggled this month. I probably won't wear these again, but mixed together, they're not too bad. And, th and then my last, my least favorite this month was the Cover FX Cover Play. I do not like this foundation at all. I think the shade is beautiful. I wanted to like this foundation because I really do like a lot of Cover FX products. But this settles in every single crease. This gives me wrinkles that I don't even have. I don't know what is wrong with this foundation and my skin, but like right now I was looking in the mirror. So I just filmed my Laura unboxing that posted last week. Yeah. Last Wednesday, uh, I'm filming them right after each other. Um, but my Laura unboxing, I, I got this little mirror from Kat Von D and I was looking in this little mirror and I have all along my lips, little teeny tiny creases that I did not have before putting this on. And this is what I mixed with my physician's formula. And I don't, I've used this mixture before and it actually worked pretty well, but I use less of this. So like today when I put it on, I probably put a, a, even amounts of the product. The previous time that I tried that combination, I put a lot of this, the physician's formula, and then just a little bit of the cover FX just to try to stabilize, stabilize the color. And that actually worked pretty well, but I put one to one and it doesn't, it doesn't do good. It doesn't do good at all. Um, I just, I mean, every single wrinkle in my face, hopefully you can't see it, but I can see it in my mirror here. Like every single little crease in my skin, along my lips, my upper lip, it looks like it has settled into crevices in my nose that look huge. Um, it's just, it, it, it's just bad. It's just bad. I will, I will probably never wear this again. And this is an expensive foundation. It's 1.18 fluid ounces, but I think it was like $45, somewhere in that range, 40 to $50. And this was expensive. No. Now I am outside of my return period because I bought this in April. Actually, I might be like right along, right at the line. I forget when the April sale was, but... <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. So I, I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Like I said, I would probably, if you're asking my opinion on any of these, the only one that I would recommend you try is the physician's formula one. The other four, I would tell you not even to bother. This one's okay, but I wouldn't spend the price for this. Cause this is, this is again, it's in like the 40 to $50 range. It's similar to the cover FX. I believe, I believe I, I forget exactly, but, um, this one is better. Uh, this one isn't bad. This one isn't bad. But uh, there are other products that you can get that are high-end products that I feel are better than these. I, there are other products that are drugstore products that I feel are better than these, than this, than this specifically. Um, so there's my wrap up for June. I'm sorry I'm such a Debbie Downer this month, uh, but I honestly don't really like any of these foundations. Like I said, the healthy foundation I would use if it didn't oxidize on my skin. I feel like it looks nice but it, it oxidizes on me. Whereas I've seen a bunch of other people who it doesn't oxidize on. So it's just my skin. My skin's weird. 
All right, so now comes the time that I'm gonna tell you what my July foundations are. So if you don't wanna see what my July foundations are, if you wanna be surprised next week when those videos post, go ahead and click off now. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, but if you are interested in what my July foundations are, stay tuned. So my July foundations are stick foundations. I've been curious about stick foundations and I've been wanting to try them. So I am. I am trying three higher end foundations and two drugstore foundations this month. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the drugstore. This is the first one. This is from Flower uh, Beauty. I did get this from Walmart. And as far as I'm aware, it is still available on walmart.com. I don't believe you can buy this on the Flower Beauty website and you can definitely not get this at Ulta. Uh, but when I did film my first impression a couple weeks ago, um, you could still buy this on the flower or I'm sorry, on the Walmart website. So if you're curious, if you watch my uh, first impression and you're curious about this, you can at least as far as I'm aware, still pick this up on the walmart.com website. I think they came out with a new stick foundation or maybe not. Um, but anyway, this is the, uh, this is the skin cognito stick foundation. So that's the first one. The next one is a newer foundation. Uh, this just came out a month or so ago. This is from revolution makeup revolution, London. This is their new stick foundation, which is the fast base stick foundation. I do have this in the shade F one. I forgot to tell you, this is in the shade SF one. So, um, the makeup revolution one I have in F one. So there's that one. So those are the two drugstore price foundations that I did try out this month. And then I have three high end. The first one is from Stila. This is the Stila Stay All Day Cover Foundation. And this one does have a concealer in it as well. It has a little pot concealer in the top. And then it is a stick foundation on the inside. Now I did like the Stila liquid foundation that was the Stay All Day Cover liquid foundation for, that I tried a couple months ago. Uh, but this is in the shade Porcelain Zero. Next up I have from Makeup Forever. This is the, their Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. I have this in the shade 115 R230 and that's the shade there. And then the final stick foundation that I did try is this one right here. This is from Hourglass. This is the Vanish stick foundation. I did get it in the shade Porcelain. There is that shade right there. So stay tuned for next week when I will give you my first impressions of all five of these stick foundations. So yeah. I will give you a spoiler. Uh, July goes better than June did, <laughs> at least as far as I've tried them so far. I will tell you that. Uh, I, I, I don't I have not run into a month yet where I could honestly tell you that three of the five were crap or not worth it. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> So that's my wrap up for the June five days of days of foundation. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. I do appreciate it very much. Uh, if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below as well. And if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. I'm creeping closer to 400 subscribers every day and uh, I'm already preparing for a giveaway. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button so you can be ready for the giveaway when I do post that. Once I hit 400 subscribers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.